Kaiju 8 or Monster Number 8. This is a pretty highly anticipated Shonen series, which is 100% gonna flop on my channel. And even if you guys don't care, I'm gonna brute force the Shonen series so that one day we can watch Black Clover. One day we can watch Hunter x Hunter, like all the big boys on their channels. Let's see what Monster 8's about. <laughs> Bald, 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 bald. Kaiju alert, Kaiju alert. These human designs are kind of funny looking. I know, I don't know, maybe it's just the NPCs, but like all these like humans, they look pretty wonky. And then this is the kaiju hunting squad, yeah? The people here are pretty chill about it. Which division will come? They're treating like a fucking sport. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, the action sequences are going pretty nuts. Here we go, big boy gun, big girl gun. Yo, that was right in the fucking middle. God damn. This girl got the fucking big girl gun. Boom! Oh, sh shit, it just explodes out of it. Well, I don't know how strong that kaiju is. But this girl seems fucking insane, right? No dots eight. Right, this is the main character, and in the trailer, his job was like janitor duty, right? So like the like the the official like hunters show up and they take out the monsters and then there's monster guts everywhere and then there's like these people that come and like clean shit up so our main character is part of the janitor squad which is less than ideal but let him cook yeah we're cleanup crew guys they're like heroes yeah there's that girl in the front that must be that girl that shot the beam In the trailer, the main character seems to... Yeah, that girl right there. In the trailer, wasn't this guy and the girl kind of like friends or some shit? Okay. That was like a faithful encounter. That was missed. It's about cleaning up monster guts. Are you guys excited? Yeah, no one... These are all the... These are the true heroes. I guess no, you know, thank yous. Kafka, Hibino. Kafka? Mommy? Boom. Oh, it's acid! Oh, oh! Yeah, make sure you get the worker's compensation. Holy fuck, get paid for this. <laughs> oh, is that just like poop? Like stored, stored up poop? It's poop cleanup duty? Oh no, we gotta go clean the fucking washroom. You ever work at a fast food restaurant, restaurant dude? Bro, when I used to work at McDonald's, and I had to go clean up the fucking toilet. And like, my McDonald's was the most ghetto part of the town too. That shit was rancid. Like, oh, like, like it needs to be fucking nuked. At least they have a hazmat suit. At the very least, they got hazmat suits, kind of. That's crazy! Bro definitely does not get paid enough for cleaning up shit, dude. Fuck the third division! They keep making this so messy for us to clean up! Okay, here she is. Ashiro kept him. 27. At the peak, at the prime of her life. She's the strongest captain? Trailer stuff. 
Right, because in the trailer, they showed this. Kafka and this girl, they were like, let's kill monsters together. And then they seem to have grown distance after something happened. And now she's like, captain of the third division. Just fucking zero casualty missions every time. And we are... <sighs> cleaning up poop. That's kind of... bad. Yeah. Most popular. Okay. Corpse Commander. This is too real, bro. <laughs> you ever have friends and like, you know, back in high school or college, you're like kind of equals and then you grow up and you get distant and you find out they're like doing some crazy shit. They're so ahead in life and you're like, damn, what did I do with my life? It's like, ugh. Oh, well, you should never compare yourself to other people, right? You should only compare yourself to yesterday. Are you taking active steps each day to become a better person and whatever this better person means to you? But if it's like a childhood friend that you made a promise with and it's like, ugh, ugh. To be relatable to the audience, I guess. <laughs> you get paid well? Money, paying the bills, food, that's all nice, but... What about fulfillment? Do you have a goal? What's Ichikawa. Defense forces the actual people that kills monsters? <laughs> Look at this fucking loser! He used to have dreams like you, young kid! Now he's a fucking furniture! <laughs> I know he's trying to play it off like nicely, but goddamn, bro, you gotta say it like that? Jesus Christ! The difference between a young kid, his eyes of defiance, full of willpower, resolves to achieve his dreams, and then the boomers that, given upon their dreams, life is passing by. <laughs> <laughs> Two sides of the same coin. <laughs> but there is some truth to here, right? There's some partial truth to what he's saying. When at the end of the day, the world is so big, no matter how good you are at something, there is always going to be someone that's better than you. And sometimes you might reach that limit, but it's like, who set that limit? Did you really give it your all? Or are you rationalizing and justifying in your own head about why you gave up on your dream so that the cognitive dissonance in your mind doesn't eat you up every night? Even the night at the apartment when he was looking at the news, I think that this is bullshit based on how he really feels. Because if he was truly fine with, reti with the giving up his dreams and pursuing something else, if he was truly fine, then he would never have to rationalize in his head about how cleaning is an important job that needs to be done and that I shouldn't feel bad about this. <laughs> Let's go, young man. Let's go, young man! Maybe he doesn't know the real world. But you do need that ego and defiance. <laughs> yeah, we got fucking set up. We got actually set up. What the fuck, manager? Train comes by, hits them. Now it's an isekai show. <laughs> new kid, you're on Hi. shit duty. <laughs> yeah, help the new kid clean up shit. Here's the thing. When you're in a work setting and you don't actually care about climbing the ladder in that company, never show your true power level. Because if you show how competent you are, you set a standard and you become the guy that everyone relies on to do that thing. Kafka showed how competent he was at doing intestine duty while everyone is hiding their power levels. He has to do intestine duty, bro. I did the same shit at my work. You know what I do? I never go beyond the call of duty. I hide my power level and I just fuck around delivering stuff, communicating, and acting like I do a lot of hard work. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm doing? I'm just researching what anime to watch and trying to look at the analytics. I love how they censor the shit, bro. I, they're, they're censoring the poo poo. How could you eat after intestine duty, bro? <laughs> the animation there was funny as fuck. It's very explosive. Yeah. How the fuck are we gonna eat after cleaning up shit, bro? Easy to digest food. 
食えるもんだけでも腹に入れねえと、yeah. 午後持たねえぞ。ノースプラグフォーでシュッスメル。何言ってるかわかんないけど、なんか。ぶたしてる Okay, what, what, where is the hype shit? Why are we watching just fucking monster doo doo clean up right now? Sunset lighting right now. Sunset lighting though. Sunset lighting, something important is gonna happen. I respect you because you clean up shit and now I know what you have to deal with. Yeah, show some respect to the senpai. Yeah. Y'all ain't watching too much rom coms of sunset lighting. Why the, why the fuck is he blushing? Why the fuck is he blushing? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, maybe, maybe it is yaoi time. Hold the fuck up. And? Oh, it's not too late for you. Yo, our Kohai is so nice. He's just sundere as fuck. Let's apply together. Let's go. It's not like I cared about you. Oh. No shot he fucking dies here after this. It is the first episode. No way. No. I don't believe it. Kafka. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I thought that maybe this kid would die in front of it. And then Kafka would have me motivated to, like, apply for the defense force on his behalf. But holy shit. Yoji? Yoji? It's looking like we're gonna die so that he can fucking join the defense force. A part of me, if I was Kafka, I, I, I would have said all that shit. And then as soon as he left, I'd be like, damn, he really fucking ran. What the fuck? I just wanted to be cool. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna fight this thing, bro? Maybe he's actually super OP. Make it there. Okay, we're good, we're good! Oh, that was window. Oh, that was window. That's the captain of the third division, right? And this is Kafka when he was a kid? Oh no, not the cat! Not the cat! No! And then this is where they get their motivation to kill the kaiju. There it is. So they seem to be roughly same age. Not same age, but she's younger. She's 27, right? Kafka is like, I think it's safe to assume. Uh, beyond like 27 to 32 because the 32 is the new limit that their kohai said so kafka's probably like 30 31 maybe probably 31 it's like he's got one year left before he can join a defense force i could see that we had all those goals and dreams and aspirations <laughs> we need a gun beam attack like how the fuck we're gonna kill this thing with a crowbar Oh, he's just gonna die. Oh, he's just gonna fucking die. He's the main character. Nah, he's fine. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. Oh! Yo, Kohei! Yo! That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This guy is the main character of the show, bro. That's a fucking main character line. If I were to let you die here, then I could never make it as a defense force. Bro, this kid is the fucking main character. What a good kid. 
そういうことじゃねえここでまた隊員になんてなれない<笑> Oh, wait, wait. Application results Kafka Hibino. We regret to inform you that you have not passed the first round of the recently concluded anti kaiju defense force selection results. Better luck next time. Looks a lot like my email inbox when I'm job hunting. <laughs> And there's our friend. Just peek. <laughs> Not my game console, that's what he was mentioning about the Guraman or something, right? Ooh. Ooh. The fuck a tiger shows up? That's not the cat that died. White tiger. And then bullets burn. Yeah, the defense force got a fucking white tiger? Is it her? The captain? Yo! This is Miko, or you, you know the cat that died? Miko? She got a new cat! It's a fucking white tiger? Damn. The captain Mina Ashiro is way too goddamn cool. Does she not recognize us? Wait, wait, wait. He recognizes her, but she doesn't. Maybe it's been a long time since we've met, so like she wouldn't know anymore? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Ignored because weak? No, don't say that. That's so mean. Skill issue. This is the part of the trailer where a bug shows up and like enters him, right? <laughs> What's going on, Junior? Yeah, and I would have died too if he didn't come back, bro. We got ourselves. You, you, you and me, bro. You're cool too, bro. You got. This is the last year, right? If he's 32, this is the last applicant cycle. I think he slapped himself? He probably did a... Okay, he punched himself. That's the thing, right? That's the thing, right? It's not about giving up, right? Give, give, giving up, if you truly felt like you had to give up because of circumstances to pursue something else, that's totally fine. But if you're lying to yourself, and just giving up to run away from your problems, that's the problem that he's talking about, right? Gok gok time. This thing enters him, right, in the trailer. And then bro, like, has a transformation, right? Wait, it was targeted? That bug was specifically looking for Kafka. Senpai! Now, so this is where he gets his powers, right? So like, it's like Spider-Man. Ah, cause like, cause like when the story, I, I, I know it needs to have some kind of like shonen aspect of it, but like, when we're talking about running away from your dreams and giving up and lying to yourself and then trying to pursue that again and working hard to earn it, but you just get lucky out of fucking nowhere and you just get super godlike powers. I, I understand, right? It's an anime. You need to get superpowers, but like, did he earn this shit? No. But then again, did a lot of main characters earn shit? Nah, we're just here to fucking sh just fucking enjoy the hype shit, right? Then again, the bug did say I found you specifically, so maybe he did earn it. Who knows what he's been doing for 32 years, right? Don't be a medic. Kill the grandpa. The man who became a kaiju. Well, thank fucking god they didn't show us the fucking episode title in the beginning, but then again, the trailer already kind of spoiled that, right? Post credit scene. Okay. I mean, you got fucking a white tiger and a giant laser gun. Don't worry about it. I got you. I'll protect you. She remembers! Wait! But 
Did she recognize? This is reminiscent about the past. She's in her fancy ass apartment. She, does she remember though? Usotsuki. Liar. Liar, because you're not here anymore. Damn, no booty chick. They fucking hid that shit, bro. Like, I mean, we don't need to see the booty chick, but I just thought that they would hide it with the hair or something at least. That's what she's wearing. Wait, wait, she's getting called in? The grandpa actually made the call? We're gonna get hunted next episode? Here comes the encounter. That's the episode. What did you think? I think that this is a pretty interesting premise. It's not a shitty isekai, right? It's, but it is seeming like a power fantasy. Hibike, uh, Hibiki? Kafka is like a 32-year-old man who used to have dreams to basically be the best kaiju hunter or some shit, right? And, she, and, and he had this Ashino girl, right? What's her name? Uh, Ashiro girl, Mina Ashiro. Back in the day, their hometown got wiped out and they had these dreams to become big. But as time passed and life hits you, Kafka kind of just gave up on his dreams and lied to himself about giving up. While Mina kept pushing forward. And now, with the help of her koha giving us a reality check, maybe it's not too late just for us. There's a beautiful theme here that everyone can relate to about life happens. You had all your dreams and aspirations that you give up on. But then sometimes you just need that one special, you know, interaction to rekindle that lost passion. It looks like he's going to try. Now... He did get some superpowers here, right? He seems like he turned into a kaiju. I mean, the episode title is called The Man That Got Turned Into a Kaiju. So, it is like, did he earn for this shit? I don't know. The bug did say, I found you. So, maybe there's some hidden implications that maybe he did earn it. And at the very end, she said, liar. As in, you weren't here anymore, any Kafka. Where are you, right? So, she's like, looking for him? I'm not sure if she recognized Kafka when she saved him. I don't know. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. But regardless, she's getting called into the fucking hospital to exterminate him. So next episode, we'll get a reunion. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.